the goal of the state government uh, is to position uh, the state of Andhra Pradesh as India's leading state in agriculture sector. And uh, to follow it up, we've uh, taken several measures to get there. Uh, initiatives such as Rai to Barosa, uh, interest-free crop loans on prompt payment to uh, to ensure that, to motivate farmers so that they pay up promptly. And payment of farmer's share of crop insurance premium. This was also very important because we had a situation where a very minuscule number of farmers were playing, paying insurance. Uh, whereas uh, now you have a system where it's, it's mapped to the year cropping. So you have the real farmers who are actually doing agriculture activity, mapped by e-cropping at the RBK level, actually getting involved, and that data actually taken into consideration, and also insurance based on that e-crop data is now visualized in the state of Andhra Pradesh through these RBKs. So we had come up with this, uh, earlier it was creating a difficult situation where some of the farmers were paying, some of the farmers were not paying, and ultimately, if a calamity does occur, we had, uh, we had a situation where farmers were put to loss. Mm -hmm. So to address that, we ensured that uh, uh, payment of farmers' share of premium also was a responsibility of the state government so that farmers are protected well. Then distribution of farm implements on subsidy, uh, both for individual farmers and uh, custom hiring centers, CHCs, have been promoted in a very big way. And uh, most importantly, the RBK. The RBK is centric, 10,700 and odd RBKs come out of already taken shape, hand-holding farmers from seed to sale at every stage. That is one of the biggest game changers that the state government could bring about. And to this, e-cropping made mandatory at the village level with the required staff positioned in the RBK and the Gram Sachwalayas. That these are the game changes that actually took place. And now, uh, agri testing labs at uh, almost uh, 147 constituencies, meaning to say every rural constituency has got now uh, agri testing lab as well. Uh, so combining all these efforts, uh, uh, we've ensured that uh, agriculture uh, uh, transformation in a revolutionary way uh, is taking place at the village level. Added to this, we're coming up with uh, uh, agri infrastructure at the RBK level, at the village level in a very big way, be it uh, primary processing, be it uh, uh, developing of uh, uh, these cold rooms or these uh, go-downs, uh, assaying equipment at RBK level. And uh, to this, additionally adding a food processing unit at uh, secondary food processing units at uh, the parliament as a, as a unit, uh, parliament constituency taken as a unit. So all these things are shaping out. And as uh, spoken earlier, all these are initiatives what are in the pipeline. Some of them have materialized, some of them, especially the agri-infra, uh, these things are in the pipeline, which require a lot of your support because this will transform agriculture. Because the only way we can add value to the farming community is by getting into this sector where we actually add value to the produce. And that can only take place through primary processing and through secondary food processing. So that's exactly what we're trying to focus on, where we seek your uh, blessings, uh, all of your blessings, uh, to support these endeavors. 10,700 and odd. RBKs come out of already taken shape, hand-holding farmers from seed to sale at every stage. That is one of the biggest game changers that the state government could bring about. And to this, e-cropping made mandatory at the village level with the required staff positioned in the RBK and the Gram Sachwalayas. That these are the game changers that actually took place. Added to this, we're coming up with uh, uh, agri-infrastructure at the RBK level, at the village level in a very big way, be it uh, primary processing, be it uh, uh, developing of uh, uh, 
these cold rooms or these uh, go downs, assaying uh, equipment at RBK level, and uh, to this, additionally adding a food processing unit at uh, secondary food processing units at uh, Parliament constituency taken as a unit. So all these things are shaping out. And as uh, spoken earlier, all these are initiatives what are in the pipeline. Some of them have materialized, some of them, especially the agri-infra, uh, these things are in the pipeline, which require a lot of your support because this will transform agriculture. Because the only way we can add value to the farming community is by getting into this sector where we actually add value to the produce. And that can only take place through primary processing and through secondary food processing. So that's exactly what we're trying to focus on where we seek your uh, blessings, uh, all of your blessings, uh, to support these endeavors. Schools, they're taking a huge transformation changes. Now, all that we just spoke about, you know, getting drones at the RBK level. And we're talking about this kind of development needs the fundamental thing, what this kind of development needs is, you need to improve our schools. The, ru the rural children need to be educated well. So we're converting all the schools into English medium, getting in CBSE. We are bringing in, we have already brought in bilingual textbooks, one page Telugu, one page English in all the textbooks. The schools are being uh, upgraded. I mean, every school, which requires minimum facilities, like clean water, clean bathrooms, fans and lighting in every classroom, the furniture in the classroom, uh, the blackboards, uh, the kitchens, the painting and the finishings, these are the things that we're targeting in Nadu Nadu in schools, which we require uh, your uh, kind blessings so as to ensure that this becomes a reality. Because once the quality of education is improvised, automatically you will have children with better IQ levels. And these children with better IQ levels are the people that you're talking about who can use these drones, who know how to use these drones at that village level. So that is when sustainable economy at the village level would take place. So this is a vision. If at all you need to have a situation where children should not move out into urban centers, make your own village sustainable and suitable, then you need to make sure that the quality of education is improvised there. Who can use these are who can use these drones? Who can who have you can use this technology at that village level itself to make better money for themselves, so that they have no need to go elsewhere into the urban centres. So that is one endeavour that uh, we are asking your uh, uh, kind uh, help there.